posting about what you have on social media is foolishness. You carry a no be. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning to listen. Popular Nollywood actress Yukaria Anobi has spoken against people who show up their wealth on social media. The actress revealed that doing such is a sign that a person is suffering really from low self-esteem. Many people had mixed reactions concerning the issue as some said that she is making the right point. Now the news in detail. Popular Nollywood actress Yukaria Anobi has spoken against people who go on social media to display their wealth. In an Instagram post on Saturday, October 6th, she said that such a nurse is a stock sign of low self-esteem, adding that material acquisition is nothing but vanity. She said that all those things that you are being flaunted will soon be devoured by moth and rust. She added that such a show of wealth is a sign of foolishness. A part of her post read, Have you not seen or heard of the recently collapsed building in Lagos State and sieges of people's properties come freezing of their accounts? Foolish people always land in the grave that they dug with their mouth. The actress also quoted Bible verses like Ecclesiastes 4, 13, Exodus 6, 1, verse 14, and 7, Exodus 7, 1 to 10 to buttress her point. As at the time of writing this report, the post has gathered over 100 comments with tens of reactions. Mona Lisa Code said, Okay, this is another piece of advice from Yukiria Anubi. Uh, well, um, uh, like I said, everybody is entitled to their opinion and, you know, she has just given hers. And, uh, well, people may say she's wrong. People may say she's right. But I tell you, she's entitled to her opinion about things. And of course, this is an opinion. You can you always work up us if you feel, you know, that uh, she's wrong. And of course, if you feel you, you urge to comment and, you know, react, fine and good. But sincerely, uh, well, it is like um, people will always come out to say, some people will always say, ah, please do allow me to flaunt, allow me to flaunt, allow me to show. Because when I was suffering... Poverty really deals with me, you know. They'll come out to say that when they were suffering and, you know, Sakpa, as they will call it. <laughs> Sakpa dealt with them and, you know, poverty made a public show of them. So, it is now time for them to make a public show of the same poverty that, you know, deals with them. That is why, why some will say, you know, they prefer someone who is quiet, you know, calm. And someone who will pass, a billionaire will pass and you would not know, you know, that kind of humility. But like I said, it is people's life. They have their choices to make and of course, their difficulties. But let us also put into the law of moderation. Too much of everything is not good. Flashing everything is not good. And also, um, being too stiff as well is not good. So, you have to strike a balance. So, it is their opinion. But even, the thing is, mod yes, moderation should be practiced. But moderation should be practiced more. And the reason why moderation should be practiced is this time around, you don't even know who is who on this, this so-called social media. A lot of people have been attacked because of the way they flaunt on social media. Believe you me. And it is even worse now that, you know, people are being attacked. There is so much attacks everywhere. In this area, you hear bandits attack. Here, you hear Boko Haram. Here, you hear a swap. Here you hear unknown gunmen. Here you hear un unidentified or yet to be identified gunmen. Another place you hear gunmen. So to avoid all this, you know, chaos, attracting it to yourself, it is better for you to just leave you. Sincerely. Sincerely. Well, it is just a, a, an opinion and a suggestion. And if you like, you take it. But the thing is, it is the best thing to do right now because you do not know where, who is looking at you in a manner that is very suspicious. You know, the social media. So, of course, as you flaunt, people will always come, you know, congratulate you for your wins. But I tell you, I miss the congratulations, my boo, you, somebody who is a potential, you know, a potential foe or a potential attacker. So, the thing is, moderation should be practiced a lot. Moderation should be practiced a lot, rather. So that you are going to be safe and not just only you. You loved ones because if you are flaunting yourself on social media, I want to believe that before you know it, your family members are going to be involved. So 
you stand to protect yourself if you practice moderation when you're flaunting whatever you have um on social media and also it is like you know to me i still feel <laughs> humility is key sincerely moderation is key like yes it is better for people to wonder imagine someone not hearing about you for a very long time and you know you have outgrown your old self and you become better at your craft and you know you're living you know um how am i going to call, say in moderation now you are living very in moderation do you know that there is this how am i going to put it now there's this bewilderment that happens when people say, ah isn't not this person of yesterday how come you know when you have been you know trying to be moderate about your wins and your achievements but like I said, it's a suggestion because you may some people will be like, ah, this thing dealt with me when I didn't have. Imagine there was a once upon a time they'll come out and say they give their stories how once upon a time, you know, they were dealt with. They didn't have, you know, some say funds for their school, funds for business. So like I said, it is an opinion, sincerely. And it will even keep you out of trouble. Out of apart from the fact that attackers might come, I tell you, Missu blowers will see you and go and blow Missu. That will learn how to blow Missu even if they don't know how to. So the thing is, moderation is always best. I, I mean, moderation should be practiced in everything. You should make sure that at the end of the day, um, you are not doing what is going to shoot you in the leg. You're not shooting yourself in the leg. So it is like a suggestion, like I said. It is not like um, you are forcing it down your throat that you're going to take it. But it is a wonderful suggestion that, you know, everyone should practice. Not just on social media, moderation is good in everything you do. Everything you do. So moderation is even in your daily life, even off social media, I am saying it. Moderation is key. Security is not just on social media is one aspect. Yeah, how you flaunt your things and you know, you just become the center of attention, unnecessary attention. And before you know it, you know, a potential attacker who has been looking for they say the devil does not sleep, he's always looking for who to devour. Uh -huh. Something like that, and you now become that it is because you are flaunting yourself. That is why, you know. It happens. So let us not um, shoot ourselves on the leg. It is like I said, an opinion. If you want, you take it. And if you do not want, you do not take it. Of course, it's a timely reminder because um, I think recently, um, Obi Kubana was um, called in by the EFCC. Believe you me, if Obi was as quiet as he was after, I mean, I mean, before ever his mom's burial, I tell you, I do not think these people would have even come for him. But like I said, moderation is key. I should be practiced not just on social media, but also of social media. So it is a suggestion and, you know, you ever take it or leave it. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of the day.